I wanted to do something different. I'm bringing you guys a review slash an impression video, and I will be reviewing the Sahara, not the Sahara, the Juvia's Place the Freak palette, and this is what it looks like on the inside. All these pretty shades in here. You have your colorful shades on the top, and you have some neutrals on the bottom, so you can use this palette for any type of look. I did use this palette, this like this palette for my entire look, and I also incorporated some glitter with this look. And yes, this is the look that I came up with. I really like it and I hope you guys like it as well. And I also will be doing a talk through throughout this video instead of doing my traditional voiceover. I just wanted to do something different, something to spice up the video. And so you guys can see my personality just a little bit because I'm not really like a bubbly person like that. But I do have a little bit of a personality to myself. So you know, I want to engage more with you guys. So yes. Everything will be listed down in the description box as well. Be sure to also check me out on my social media and keep up with me. Make sure to like, comment, and or subscribe. And be sure to hit that bell so you guys can know when I'm uploading my videos. And until then, I will see you guys in my next one. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I'm going to be doing something a little different today. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover. I want to do a talk to just so I can engage with you guys a little bit more. So, yes, the first shade we're going to start off in this palette is this shade right here. It's called Cameroon. It's like a light orangey brown color, so I'm just going to be placing that right in my crease. Not my crease, but I'm using that for my transition. And then after that, well, I'm gonna say this first. So I did, I went ahead and did my brow and my base off camera as usual. I'm usually always tell you guys what I use on my brows, but what I use on my brows, I just use this NYX brow pencil and I go in and I fill it in with my Ebony Dick Brow um, Anastasia. And to carve out my brows or to conceal it, I usually always use the Ill Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. So that's that. So the next shade I'm gonna be taking is this red maroon shade in the palette called, I think it's called Bentu. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's called Bentu. So I'm just gonna be placing it like right below my transition shade. go back in with camera roll and I'm going to use that shade to um, bring that brown back out and to blend out the transition of this with it. And let me know how y'all like this style of video. If y'all prefer the voiceovers or the talk through. I know I usually always do my uh, voiceovers but I'm trying to like branch out and do more voiceovers. Y'all please excuse the voice in the background because these kids here are so rude and disrespectful. So yes, I'm just taking this color and I'm just blending this out. And I'm just gonna go back in with this one again and I'm just gonna um, bring that color back out. And for my brow bone highlight, because you know my brow bone highlight always has to be on and popping. I like usually always like to go in with the shimmer shade for my brow bone highlight. Sometimes I go with the matte shade, like usually I go with the shimmer shade. So I'll be taking this beautiful gold shade right here. It's called Kofi. And I'm gonna be using that as my brow bone highlight. To cut in the crease, to cut my crease, I'll be using my other girl pro concealer in the shade foreign and I'm just gonna take like a regular flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna be carving out my cookies.
shade I'm gonna take is Angelique. It's like a soft white ivory shade, and I'm just gonna place that, place that in the inner tear that portion of my eyes. You guys know that I cannot talk. Next shade, shade I'm gonna go back into, like I'm gonna put it all over the lid, will be PC. It's just a beige matte shade. So I'm just placing that all over my lid. I'm gonna be taking my NYX matte primer. NYX matte primer. My NYX matte liner. I'm gonna be using this to line my lid. And then I will come back and I will show you guys um, my glitter. So now that I'm done with my liner, the next thing I'm gonna take is my NYX glitter primer. And I'm gonna take this beautiful glitter. It's a chunky glitter from Glitch Your Life Cosmetics called Goldie. And this is what it looks like. It's really, 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 really chunky or whatever it just spilled all over me like that it's all right so i went ahead and primed my face with the wet and wild um photo focus primer now I'm just gonna be taking my Femi foundation, not this one. This one in the shade Deep Bronze and my CoverGirl Matte Bay foundation in the shade D80. And I'm just gonna mix it in with a little bit of glow. I'll be using my NYX Point to Go Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sun Goddess to give me this extra glow. So I'm gonna do all of that. To conceal or highlight my face, I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. Y'all, so I'm thinking about doing like a life after college update video because the sister's been just struggling. It's been real, y'all. It's been real. Um, yeah, it's just been real, real for me. That's why I haven't been on here in a while. But I'm back, y'all. I miss recording. I miss doing videos. I miss engaging with y'all. So I am back. Sorry from all my struggles I've been going through. Uh, let me know if y'all want me to if y'all want me to do a post college slash life after college video because the sister been it's been real out here in these streets. So now that I'm done laying everything down, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face, and I will be right back because I do not like doing my full face on camera. If you guys want to see a full face foundation routine, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I will be right back, you guys use the same eyeshadow right here called Angelique and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner tear duct and I'm gonna go in with a few like the ghost specs I'm just gonna put it like in my inner tear duct as well
So now that I'm done with my glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and use my e.l.f. gel liner in the shade Black. And I'm gonna put this on my waterline. And then for my top lashes, I'm gonna go in with my Benefit Backgown Mascara and then for my bottom lashes, because I am extra, I will be using my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Before I put on my mascara, I want to take I want to take the camera shade again. I want to like put that. I want to smudge it out on my lower lid, on my bottom lid area. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my sleep blush in the shade Coral. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna pop that on the apples of my cheek. And now I'm gonna spray my face with my NYX Beauty Setting Spray. And I'm gonna take my Touch Up Fancy Highlighter in the shade baby mother a baby mother as they would say so i'm just gonna pop that on my um my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose right here middle of my forehead and um my chin I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I usually go with my nude lips, but we're gonna do something bold and popping. So I'm gonna line my lips with my NYX lip primer in the shade Dark Purple. And, hmm, I don't know which one I wanna go with y'all. Um, I am going to use the Anastasia lip stain in the shade Catnip. So this is it for the look. I hope you guys like this look because I really like this look. I'm about to do my hair and I will be back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I went ahead and did my hair. And yes, I just threw on my little wig and did all the little extra whatever. And so yes, I really like the look. I really like the way the look came out. And I hope you guys like this look as well. Everything I use. For this video, as I mentioned, everything in the video, but they will also be listed down in the description box. And yes, um, the, the shadows in the palette was really pigmented. They were really creamy. So I feel like it's a good buy. Y'all should invest in the palette. Um, Julia's Place is one of my favorite companies when it comes to eyeshadows. So they're always a thumbs up for me. Be sure to like, comment, and not subscribe. And also be sure to hit that bell so you can guys are notified when I'm uploading my videos and until then I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.